how you doing welcome to another video this one is from uh, Ian McLean 2 uh, I'm 40 days quit most physical stuff has rebalanced um, it's now a mind game I see alcohol as a mate that was so needy and demanding of my time I get the odd call from him or her uh, and he's putting quotes here brain fart um, and that time I gave is now mine again I say my best ex drinking buddy right uh, I can understand all this I say my, my my best ex sorry I haven't got my glasses with me so I say my best ex drinking buddy apart from those three to five hour mad drinking sessions as mates everything is now better everything so they had to go and he agrees I'm presuming he means his, his best mate <laughs> that's a good way of putting it right look um I think it takes between 60 and between 30 and 60 days for the rebalancing that this guy is talking about to take to take effect right you've no more alcohol influence in your life and um, you know you start to feel better this is one of the things that i tend to we tend to focus on once we get to around day 45 is that you have to start looking at your life um, a lot of the, the the stuff that has happened to you up until now, right? That it's like you've been they've been coming thick and fast because you've not had the alcohol in your body anymore, and you're starting to feel the benefits very quickly, you know. So after 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, you're starting to really feel those benefits, but it slows down from here on out, right? So um, you have to understand that even though the alcohol is gone, the drinker's brain is still there. That thing that we were talking about with the uh, all the wiring that's there, all the, the psychology that, that's there, that's still all operating. You're still operating as a drinker. So you have to get away from that, you know. Seeing alcohol as a mate, yeah, it's it's true. It's what we do, isn't it? You know, it's a sad fact of what we used to do that that was probably our biggest mate, you know, because you could be out with your mates, you take the alcohol out of the situation and everything's fucked up, you know. Put the alcohol into the situation and you could be on your own and, you know, you're, you're not... You're not full, but everything is kind of all right, isn't it? You know, the Rolling Stones used to have a song about that mother's little helper. Do you know, some people talk about this whole process of getting away from alcohol as a grieving process. You know, it's it's an inner conflict more than an outside conflict. You're fighting with yourself. You're grieving for a part of yourself that you've got to you've got to let go. A way of looking at yourself that you've got to let go of, um, and it is there's certain aspects of it that are like you are splitting up from a really fucking destructive partner somebody who's um somebody who you love but is a real pain in your ass a real destructive force in your life right but the i think the biggest thing that you have to take from it especially once once you get to that stage is that the condition is still there and that conditioning um to see alcohol as fun uh, that condition has been happening since before you stopped drinking, since before you started drinking, I should say. Right? It's been there all the way through your childhood, all the way through your teens years. You know, it's I've said this before. It's it's often the only rite of passage that we have to go from child to adult is to go out and start getting drunk, or to take some drug in society. You know, so and that idea of fun, it's a distorted idea of fun it's a distorted view on life on on happiness you know those those internal chemicals dopamine serotonin all those pleasure chemicals that are designed to give you a you know that part of your reward system they all get fucked up because of alcohol because of alcohol tolerance because of alcohol dependence and there's many many different consequences to that and and you need for that to be balanced out before you can really start to to see what fun is. You've got to have patience with this, you know. It's a part and parcel of, of that life. The split from that mad, destructive partner that you used to have is tough, but the separation is beautiful. I'll tell you that much. Take care of yourself. Habitsfeed2.com. Onwards and upwards. Bye now.